Isaiah 66, 67 and 6. No, it's like it, 62 and 6. I have sent watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace, day nor night. Ye that make mention of your highway, keep not silence, and give him no rest till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Praise the most high. Morning watching, salutation saints. All right. Get the most high, no pray, no rest till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. All right. Morning watch, night watch. 238 on the west coast. All right. This is going to be a precept upon precept. Line upon line here, a little and there, a little concerning. The redemption of the seed of Jacob. Physical seed. Alright. As we see, we're uh, admonished. If we call ourselves his uh, ministers, his, you know, prophets or what have you, apostles, we're admonished to bring this word out and remind him of what he said. Until he redeem us. Because what he said is that he will redeem us. Okay. <laughs> Praise the most high. Let's get some more on that redemption. All right. Verse 8. Isaiah 62 and 8. Yahweh has sworn by his right hand. And by the arm of his strength. Surely I will no more give thy corn to be meat. For thine enemies. And the sons of the stranger shall not drink thy wine for which thou hast labored. All right, so he will no longer give our corn to be meat for our enemies, okay? But they that have gathered it shall eat it, okay, and praise Jehovah. You know how you heathens used to make us work all day, day in the field, all right? Sowing and reaping, all right? So your ass can eat, and you give us the goddamn uh, scraps, right? The crumbs, <laughs> right? We built houses, and we didn't live in them, okay? We beget children, and you took them, all right? We married wives, and you laid with them, you heathen, okay? All right? So you, you are enemy, so you exploit us, okay? But they that have gathered it shall eat it, and praise your hobby. And they that have brought it together shall drink in the courts of my holiness. Go through, go through the gates, prepare ye the way of the people. Cast up, cast up the highway. Gather out the stones, lift up the standard for the people. All right, praise the most high, man. And uh, today that standard is E1B1A, man. Okay, the 12 stones. All right, that's the standard. All right, the 12 all right, cast up the stones, all right, for the tribes of Jacob, okay? But that's how you prepare the way. Say the Most High has redeemed his people Israel, all right? That's how you prepare the way, okay? Go through, go through the gates, prepare you the way of the people. Cast up, cast up the highway, gather out the stones, lift up a standard for the people, all right? So, uh, you know, that's a defense, man. Okay, that's a that's that's a defense, a wall of defense against intruders, invaders, all right, and oppressors. Okay, would be oppressors. Okay, all right, for the protection of the people. So spiritually, this gospel, this word, this gospel of the kingdom is that standard. All right, an election by the seed is also the standard. All right, that's why I let you know I'm E one B one A. Because I'm the seed of Jacob, all right? That is his seed, all right? Behold, Yahweh hath proclaimed unto the end of the world. Say ye to the daughter of Zion, Behold, thy salvation cometh. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. And they shall call them the holy people, the redeemed of Yahweh. And thou shalt be called Sarah, a city not forsaken. Barakashan, Yahweh.
Behold, Yahweh hath proclaimed unto the end of the world, say ye to the daughter of Zion, Behold, thy salvation cometh. Behold, his reward is with him in his work before him. All right, so he's making it obvious. All right, his, his judgment is obvious. Before he even reach you, you hear about him. You know his reputation. You know what to expect, okay? All right, and therefore you're supposed to, uh, you know, prepare yourself until he get here so that you can get a good reward, all right? Because you know what to expect, okay? Praise the Most High. Verse 8 again. Yahweh hath sworn by his right hand and by the arm of his strength. Surely I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thine enemies. All right, and the sons of the stranger shall not drink thy wine for the which thou hast labored. Numbers 24 and 8. Allah brought him forth out of Egypt. He hath as it were the strength of a unicorn. He shall eat up the nations his enemies and shall break their bones and pierce them through with his arrows. Okay, so at the end of the day, Jacob breaks up and destroys his enemies and pissed them through with his arrows, all right? And eat them, uh, you know, he devoured them that devoured him, man, his enemies, okay? So, uh, yeah, that's right. Let's get that one. Precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little, man. Okay, about what's going to happen to our enemies, our oppressors, all right? Jeremiah 30 and 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. See? And all that prayer upon thee will I give for prayer. All right? Praise the Holy Name, Yahweh. All right. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. Let's, let's get a precept for that real quick. All right. All them that devour us, go be devoured. All our adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that pray upon thee will I give for a pray. You see that? Praise your holy name forever, Yahweh. Okay? So all our enemies going to go into captivity. All right? All them that devoured us is going to be devoured. All right? Every one of you. Okay? All our adversaries, man. Every one of them shall go into captivity, man. For Yahweh, uh, Isaiah 14 and 1. For Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob, who will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh for servants and handmaids. They shall take them captives whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. Praise your holy name, Yahweh. Bless your holy name, Philip Hamashiach. Yahweh Shai. Barakat Hashem, Kurash Rakah. And they, uh, Ezekiel 39, the second half of verse 10. And they shall spoil those that spoil them, and rob those that rob them, saith Yahweh. You see that? Okay. Back to numbers real quick.
Numbers 24 and 8 again. Allah brought him forth out of Egypt. He hath as it were the strength of a unicorn. All right, basically uh, a rhino, okay? He, he shall eat up the nations, his enemies. He shall eat them up, which is in essence devoured, just like we've got the priest of four out of Jeremiah. All right. He shall eat up the nations, his enemies. And shall break their bones and pierce them through with his arrows. Okay. So, so Jacob going to pierce you through with his arrows. Who? The nations is enemies. Alright? Praise the most high. Grab a little more. Zechariah 9, verse 12. Turn you to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. Even today do I declare that I will render double unto thee when I've been Judah for me. Fill the bow with Ephraim and raised up thy sons, O Zion, against thy sons, O Greece, and made thee as the sword of a mighty man. Praise your holy name, family. See that? He used Jacob, man. He used Jacob. He used Israel to destroy his enemies, the nations, man. Oh, well, we're in a good neighborhood. Well, I don't want to go there just yet. Um, Jeremiah 51 and 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. Praise your holy name, Yahweh. Revelation 2, verse 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter, Shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father? Praise your holy name, Mashiach. And I will give him the morning star. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the assemblies. All right? Jacob, man, destroying the nations, his enemies. Okay? Malachi chapter 4, starting at verse 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And all the wicked, so like and all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith Yahweh of armies. Then it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings. And ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the star. And ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, saith Yahweh of armies. Praise your holy name, Yahweh. All right, now let's just go ahead and get a couple pa uh, passages of scriptures on, uh, you know, the election of Jacob being the chosen, okay? This is a nation of people. This ain't no uh, anybody who believed and got faith. All right. Now this is now that don't make you the nation of Israel. No, this you have to be the physical seed of uh, the man Israel, going all the way back to how many ever thousands of years ago it is that he lived. You have to be his seed. All right? You have to go all the way back to him. All right. And his seed can be traced today again. He wouldn't be one a. All right. Uh, in 180, as they call it, to be exact. All right, that's that's the particular branch of E1B1A where you get the tribes of Jacob. Okay. Deuteronomy 76 For thou art an holy people unto Yahweh, thou Allah, I am. 
Yahweh Allah hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. All right? All people. See, see that? So the nation of Israel is his people. And he uh, see us as better than and higher ranking, higher status, first and foremost, over all people of the earth. All right? Matter of fact, praise your holy name, you have it. Let's find that other precept for that in the same prophecy of the book, of this book. This prophecy of this book, of the law. All right, law of Moses. For, Yah, for thou art an holy people unto Yahweh the Allah Hayim. Yahweh the Allah Hayim hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Praise your holy name, Yahweh. Amen. All right, Deuteronomy chapter 26, verse 17. Thou hast a vow, Yahweh, this day to be thy Lahayim, and to walk in his ways, and to keep his statutes, and his commandments, and his judgments, and to hearken unto his voice. And Yahweh hath a vow thee this day. And Yahweh hath a vow thee this day. To be his peculiar people, as he hath promised thee. And that thou shouldest keep all his commandments. I Deuteronomy 26 and 19. And to make thee high above all nations which he hath made. Alright? And to make thee high above all nations which he hath made. In praise and in name and in honor, and that thou mayest be in holy people unto Yahweh, the Allah, as he hath spoken. All right, all right, a couple more. Well, let's go back to where we started in Isaiah, and we'll wrap this up. All right, a holy people, a peculiar people, above all people, above all nations, <laughs> which he hath made. All right. Praise your holy name, Yahweh. Matter of fact, we need to copy that, Jack. Isaiah 61, starting at verse 8. For I, Yahweh, love judgment. I hate robbery for burnt offerings. And I will direct their work in truth. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them. And their seed shall be known among the Gentiles. And their offspring among the people. All that see them shall acknowledge them, that they are the seed which Yahweh hath blessed. Bless your holy name forever, Yahweh. Isaiah 61 and 10. I will greatly rejoice in Yahweh, for my soul shall be joyful in my Elohim. For he hath clothed me with the garments of salvation. He hath covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decketh himself with ornaments. And as a bride adorned herself with her jewels. Let me read that again. I didn't realize I had the mic covered. And their seed shall be known among the Gentiles, and their offspring among the people. All that see them shall acknowledge them, that they are the seed which Yahweh hath blessed. All right? So that's the seed of Jacob, man. The nation of Israel. We're the ones we have blessed, and you heathen out there go acknowledge it, all right? I will greatly rejoice in Yahweh, my Lion. I will greatly rejoice in Yahweh. My soul shall be joyful in my Allah. For he hath clothed me with the garments of salvation. He hath covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decketh himself with ornaments, and as a bride adorneth herself with her jewels. All right, so you see how he clothed us with righteousness and salvation man okay it's a beautiful look on us man okay praise his holy name man that's right he said he gonna make a shine in sight of these gentile nations man shine on them for us to earth you remember we're gonna uh the son of righteousness gonna shine for us rise up for us with healing in his wings okay Matter of fact, the scriptures say we go shine 
like the stars forever and ever, man. All right? Yeah, that's right. For as the earth bringeth forth her bud, and as the garden causeth the things that are sown in it to spring forth, so the master Yahweh will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. Praise your holy name forever, Yahweh. All right, that's good for now. Shalom to the elect. Exhortation. Judgment. To your nations. Matter of fact, excuse me, one more before we go. We're going to stay in the same neighborhood, though. Isaiah 34. Isaiah 34 and 1. Come near, ye nations, to hear, and hearken, ye people. Let the earth hear, and all that is therein, the world, and all things that come forth of it. For the indignation of Yahweh is upon all nations, and his fury upon all their armies. He hath utterly destroyed them. He hath delivered them to the slaughter. Their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses. And the mountains shall be melted with their blood. And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. And all their hosts shall fall down. As the leaf falling off from the vine, and as the failing fallen fig from the fig tree. Why is that, Mosai? Verse 5. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse, the judgment. <laughs> Praise your holy name, Yahweh. The sword of Yahweh is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For Yahweh had to sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. And the unicorn shall come down with them in the bullocks with the bulls. And the land shall be soaked with blood and the dust made fat with fatness. For it's the day of Yahweh's vengeance and the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. Praise your holy name, Yahweh. All right, man, one, maybe one more now. Okay, the sword will be bathed in heaven, come down upon Idumia, and the people not more than one more now. Yeah, give me my goddamn Cyrus, you son of a bitch. All right, this <laughs> work most how to book my game up, man. Yeah, that's right. I do me the people of his curse, all right? Eat them, okay? The vision of Obadiah, the faith Yahweh Elohim concerning Edom, all right? Concerning Edom, we have heard a rumor from Yahweh and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen, thou greatly despise, all right? Verse 7, verse 6. How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? All right. Verse uh, 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. All right. Verse 15. For the day of Yahweh is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yeah, they shall drink and they shall swallow down. And they shall be as though they had not been. Praise your holy name, Yahweh. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. And there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. And the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau a stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for Yahweh hath spoken it. Praise your holy name, Yahweh. The house of Jacob a fire, the house of Joseph a flame, the house of 
Esau for stubble. Ezekiel 25 and 12. Thus saith the sovereign Yahweh, because that Edom had dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, and hath greatly offended, and revenged himself upon them. Therefore thus saith the sovereign Yahweh, I will also stretch out mine hand upon Edom, and will cut off man and beast from it. And I will make it desolate from T-Man, and they of d then shall fall by the sword. Anything else, most high. <laughs> sure enough is, you already know. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury. They shall know my vengeance, saith the sovereign Yahweh. Praise your holy name, Yahweh. And I will execute great vengeance upon them with furious rebukes. And they shall know that I am Yahweh, when I shall lay my vengeance upon them. Praise your holy name, forever Yahweh. Ezekiel 35, verse 2. Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. And say unto it, Thus saith the sovereign Yahweh, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate. And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. Joel chapter 3, verse 6. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians that ye might remove them far from their border. All right? And, then, and if you look at the full uh, prophecy of Obadiah, show you that uh, when the strangers came against Jerusalem, Esau was as one of them, all right? So he got his punishment coming. Verse 19. Egypt shall be a desolation. And Edom shall be a desolate wilderness. Again, for what reason? For the violence against the children of Judah. Because they have shed innocent blood in their land. All right. Praise your holy name, Yahweh. All right, Ezekiel 35 again. Verse 11 now. Therefore, as I live, saith the sovereign Yahweh, I will even do according to thine anger and according to thine envy, which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them. And I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee. And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh that I have heard all thy blasphemies which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel, saying they are laid desolate, they are given to us to consume. Thus with your mouth have ye magnified, thus with your mouth have ye boasted against me and multiplied your words against me. I have heard them. Thus saith the sovereign Yahweh, when the whole earth rejoice, I will make thee desolate. Who was he talking to? As thou didst rejoice at the inheritance, inheritance of Israel and Salaka, as thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of Israel, because it was desolate, so will I do unto thee, and thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, and all Idumia, 
<laughs> Even all of it. And they shall know that I am Yahweh. All right. Let's go to the next chapter and get a couple more with these references. So. No verse. Let's get verse five. And verse five is there. Therefore, thus said the sovereign Yahweh, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all I do me which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart, with the spiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. All right. Prophesy therefore concerning the land of Israel, and say unto the mountains and to the hills, to the rivers and to the valleys. Thus saith the sovereign Yahweh, Behold, I have spoken in my jealousy and in my fury, because ye have borne the shame of the heathen. Therefore, thus saith the sovereign Yahweh, I have lifted up my hand. Surely the heathen that are round about you, they shall bear their shame. All right? Praise your holy name forever. That's good for now. Salutations to the saints. Shalom to the elect. <laughs> it sucks to be a heathen, man. Ain't no peace to the wicked, Savior. Come on. Amen and amen.